Look at this big bruiser there. That's an eater size one. dude find a couple more like that and eat them I should have brought a second bucket who it looks like we got our dinner plate number two here there we go Dinner size. All right, time for the big ones to go to the deep freeze. And we set them on here. All right, time to go in the deep freeze. And we've got our eating crabs. So I've got a couple of male blue crabs here. This one is really blue. It's crazy. And this is more of the usual color I find. You can see the differences there. And we're just gonna put together a quick seafood steam. So I've just got some mini red potatoes, uh, some corn. I had some of my uh, bait shrimp. These are actually the human shrimp uh, food ones, but I just use them for my bait whenever I need them. Not very often. A couple of blue crabs. And they were out of Old Bay, so I'm gonna go with the Everglades Heat. So, I'm going to get the potatoes and the corn started in the steam pot, and then uh, I'll clean these guys and throw the rest in when it's done. Alright, we've got our pot set up, got a little rack in there, just putting it in a little bit of water. Not too much because we're just going to be steaming. And get this guy fired up. Okay, we'll get that going and then I'll start throwing in the veggies and I'll be cleaning the uh, blue crabs as we're doing this and by that time I'll be ready to throw those in. Alright, let's get these crabs cleaned up here. We'll pop off the shell first. Take off the fibrous lung particles. There. There. here take the flap off that give it a chunk nice full of meat take off the lips Just going to wash off the guts and that's ready to well almost ready to go and that's all good Do the same here guts be gone rid of that crab butter and we'll do this guy as well
Man, just total different color and everything. Crab butter. Same on this side. Okay, I'll wash them off. Okay, those guys are ready to go. Season this guy's up. All right, ready to go. All right, the corn and the potatoes have been going for a little bit. Now we could drop in shrimp and the crabs. Should be good in about 10 minutes. Okay, we are all set. I'm gonna turn this all off, and well, just let it uh, cool down a bit, and then I could go ahead and plate it up. It smells amazing. All right, there we go. A little bit of a bait catching crab boil, <laughs> scavenger hunt crab boil there. So uh, I've got the. Blue crabs, red potatoes, mini red potatoes, got the corn of course, threw a little bit of bait shrimp in there, got our garlic bread, and got some dipping butter. And that, my friends, is what's for dinner. All right, are you guys ready for this? So much stuff to try here. Well, we'll go straight to the crab, I guess. Do a little bit of dip in. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Just so good. Get this off. The butter. Mm. Those came out so good, and that um, that Everglades hot is <laughs> pretty good. I was wondering about that. Go about trout. I paid twice as much for these little red potatoes, but they matched really nicely, so. Mm, man. All that stuff is so good. Ugh. Oh. I put a little bit of um, 
minced garlic in the butter. That really kills it. A little bit of French bread. Mm. So glad I dedicated today for chasing bait. <laughs> Worked out excellent. Mm. I'm going to devour this thing here. So you guys got to go. But anyways, hope you enjoyed all the bait catching and hopefully I'll be using those uh, crabs soon for tarpon. Small chance I can get out tomorrow, but with the uh, waters being churned up, very small chance I get anything. Um, we'll still have to see. Better shot if I stick it out to nighttime, but then it's really, really rough and I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.